All right, what's going on, guys? Boy TG, and today we are going to recap the career of Patrice Bergeron. So, if you guys didn't know, um, last night um, the Bruins played the Tampa Bay Lightning, in which they won that game five to three, and Patrice Bergeron captured his one thousand point, and it was on an assist on Brad Marchand's goal, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, Brad Marchand scored the goal. Patrice Bergeron got credit for assists, and he also got credit for 1,000 points. So we're going to take a look back at the career of Patrice Bergeron. I have it all written down on the whiteboard, uh, but I won't show you guys everything just yet. I'm going to recap it step by step. So he is a one-time Stanley Cup champion, and of course that Stanley Cup win was with the Boston Bruins in 2011 when the Boston Bruins shut out the Vancouver Canucks for nothing. Uh, it was also a Game 7 win for the Boston Bruins. Uh, so Tim Thomas uh, was the factor back then, uh, sort of. He So he was like the best goalie in net uh, back then. I think Tuka Rass was the backup goalie back then. And Tim Thomas was the starter. So, he's a one-time Stanley Cup champion with the Boston Bruins. Uh, he's also a five-time Selkie Trophy, Frank J. Selkie Trophy winner. So, congrats to him. Um, might as well. <coughs> we might as well change the Frank J. Selkie Trophy to the Patrice Bergeron Trophy, if you know what I'm saying. Because uh, this man has won the trophy consecutive times like that's unbelievable right there from Patrice Bergeron uh he is the one-time King's King Clancy Memorial Trophy winner so uh congrats to him he has played 19 seasons in the NHL all with the Boston Burns um so He's been around the game for a long time. I mean, we thought at some point, at some point, he was he was going to retire. I actually thought, let's see, I think it was either in 2021 or 2020 where I thought that he was going to retire. I think it was when the Boston Bruins got eliminated in the playoffs, I believe, by... Um, Carolina, not 2019, because of course in 2019 they swept the Hurricanes and moved on to the Stanley Cup final to face the Blues, which they ended up losing to the Blues in seven games. Uh, I'm talking about in the bubble because I believe um, they faced each other in the bubble and the Hurricanes beat them. And either at that point, I thought Patrice Bergeron was going to retire. Or maybe after, like, no, did they? I don't, I think the Bruins won that series against the Capitals. In 2021, uh, I think the Bruins had won that series against the Capitals. Uh, and then they went on to face, man, who they face? I don't even know. But you guys can tell me in the comments because I, I think the Bruins won that series in 2021 against the Capitals. And then they went on to the second round. I think they faced the they the lightning if i'm not mistaken you guys can tell me in the comments um so either in 2020 and 2021 we thought well i thought that um patrice bergeron was going to retire uh moving on he was captain of the boston burns for three years so um sedano chara so Daniel Charles was around, and he was the captain of the Boston Bruins for a long time. And Patrice Bergeron did play with Sedano Char. Um, and Patrice Bergeron was not the captain then. It was Sedano Char until he went to the Capitals, and then he went to the Islanders, and then he retired with the Islanders, which is kind of funny because uh, Sedano Char started off his NHL career with the New York Islanders. And he retires uh, with the New York Islanders, but forever a Boston Burn. Um, so he's been, so Patrice Bergeron has been the captain of the Boston Bruins for three years. He's had 13 playoff appearances, all with Boston. And of course, we know that uh, 2020, 
why I say 2020. We all know that 2011 Stanley Cup win, um, when he won the Stanley Cup with the Boston Bruins. So in 13 of those playoff appearances, he's won one Stanley Cup, and that was in 2011. Uh, like I said, uh, when the Boston Bruins shut out the Vancouver Canucks. And I was actually kind of happy that the Canucks lost. You, you want to know why? Because the Canucks eliminated my Chicago Blackhawks in 2011. Like, I, it was Ben Smith who scored that game six goal. Game six in overtime. Vancouver was still leading the series then. Uh, and it was Ben Smith that scored that goal. Pushed it to a game seven. And in game seven in Vancouver... Alex Burrow scores the OT goal to eliminate my Chicago Blackhawks. And we were the Stanley Cup champions at that time because we had won the Stanley Cup in 2010 thanks to my boy Kane for scoring the OT goal against the Philadelphia Flyers to win the Stanley Cup. Um, and uh, we won, won the Stanley Cup in 2010, 2011 playoffs, still champions until the Bruins won the Stanley Cup. And until the Canucks eliminated us, so I'm actually happy that the Canucks did not win the Stanley Cup against the Boston Burns uh, because they eliminated my Chicago Blackhawks. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, he's had, Patrice Bergeron had 49 goals, 78 assists, 127 points, and 167 playoff games. So, in so he has played 167 uh, playoff games in 13 of the playoff appearances. So we got to give a little shout out to Patrice Bergeron, uh, Hall of Famer when he retires. So, uh, yeah. Oh, P.S. Uh, I know I didn't do a video about it, but I just want to say congratulations uh, to the other Hall of Famers, Roberto Luongo, inducted into the Hall of Fame, Marion Hosa, who who. Jersey number was retired with the Chicago Blackhawks, which we lost that game on his retirement uh, against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, let's see. It was Roberto Luongo, Marion Hulse of the Sedin Brothers. So, and it was Herb Carnegie, who was the first black player to ever play hockey. Um, really, O'Ree was the first black player to play in the NHL. But Herb Carnegie, hopefully I'm pronouncing his last name right. He was the first black player to ever play hockey. Willie O'Ree was the first black player to play in the NHL. So that's just um, a little history for you guys right there. So congratulations to all the uh, people who got inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame uh, this year. So uh, congrats to them. Anyway, um, Patrice Bergeron now sits at 409 goals. 591 assists for 1,000 points in 1,235 games. So, in all of all, good career for Patrice Bergeron. Uh, jersey number two be retired soon. Hall of Famer soon. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up. He has had a wonderful career. And hopefully he plays in the NHL for a few more years, maybe about two, three more years, and then he could retire because he is getting old. Um, so maybe we just want two, three more years in the NHL. Uh, so hopefully he does that. Uh, the Bruins' next game is against the Florida Panthers uh, at 6 o'clock Central Time. Uh, and that game is tomorrow. So, you can catch that game tomorrow at 6 o'clock Central Time. They currently have a 17-2-0 record with 34 points. First in the division, first in the league. They have an 11-0-0 home record. So, they have been doing pretty good at home. And Patrice Bergeron has just been leading the way for the Boston Bruins. Um, and there's other star players on that team that's um, been leading the way, like Pasta, uh, Marshan, uh, maybe Hall, since he is kind of like a sniper. Um, and the goalie, goalie tandem in that has just been terrific. I mean, Linus Olmark and Jeremy Swayman doing the job, doing their thing in that. So, Boston Burns on a terror this year. Patrice Bergeron, um, 
He's been doing really good for the Bruins, not just this year, but um, over the past decade um, or so. He has just been a natural superstar for the Boston Bruins, and I just want to say congratulations on achieving 1,000 points um, in a magnificent career. Uh, even though he's won one Stanley Cup, he still had an all in all good career. And I just want to say congratulations to him. I know you Bruins fans were happy about that. I know you Bruins fans were happy about the 5 3 win against Tampa when Patrice Bergeron scored his 1,000 uh, career point. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. So, show you what I have written down. I didn't want to show you until the end of this video. So,. Give you a look of all the career stats of Patrice Bergeron. And down here, I just wrote, with, like I said, you can catch the Bruins next game tomorrow at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time when, they be, when they're taking on the Florida Panthers. That game will be at FLA Live Arena. Uh, I still remember it as the BB&T Center because that was their old arena name. So I still remember it as that. Um, so you can catch that game tomorrow at 6 o'clock Central Time. Uh, let's see if Patrice Bergeron adds some more goals to assist to stack on a nice career. These are all of his career stats right here. Now, I'm officially going to end the video right here. So, if you enjoyed this video, uh, hit it with a like. Hit it with a subscribe button. Try and get to 100 subscribers by the end of this year. So, if you would, smash, 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 smash that subscribe button. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.